Hello guys and welcome to City Skylines Tutorial. Uh, I'm your humble host, Christopher Tarantola, also known as Swifty Spider, also known as Architect Mid, uh, depending on where you find me. But um, today I was going through on Reddit and I saw this uh, comment by RYBeast7390 and I wanted to answer this with a, a video because I know this is something that uh, uh, a lot of people ask for and so I wanted to make a video because uh, hopefully it not only helps you, RYBeast, but it will help, help anybody else out that uh, might be watching this and, and having the same issue. Now, um, going to the game here, there's a couple of different ways to do this. I have mods. I have the Move It mod here, and I have Fine Road Anarchy, and I have a Fine Road, there's a Fine Road tool. So when I go to Roads, I have my Fine Road tools. And those help me quite a bit um, to, to get what I want so that I can have intersections that look. Um, like this, where we have two-lane road, uh, or a, 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 a two-bike directional road, so it goes both ways on either side of the median here. But here, they're only going to come out from this way. Nobody's going to be turning to go that way. Same thing here. Uh, they're not going to be turning left there. And uh, it looks generally very smooth, and you know some people might be able to get a little bit smoother than what I have here, but generally speaking, this is a pretty smooth intersection, and, and the only way I'm able to achieve something that um, good is through the Move It mod. Now, that being said, I'm going to show you how to do this where you don't necessarily need the Move It mod, so if you have, oh, I need a, that's, a, speaking of mods, that, that mod needs to go away, but uh, just bear with me on, on this video about that, sorry. But uh, in any case... I'm going to show you how to, to do this uh, if you don't have mods, particularly if you're like on a console or something. It's not going to be quite as easy, it's not going to be quite as good, um, but you'll, it'll get you there. And then I'm also going to show you how to do a sunken highway or uh, something that uh, goes underneath but without the tunnel necessarily. Um, if you're going to be doing it using the mods, which uh, obviously the mods are there designed to make it a lot easier and they in fact do so um, you know I have my my big old city here I'm not going to show too much of it because uh, it is actually an ongoing series and uh, the series is um, the the episode where I did oh um, this intersection just came out this intersection already uh, as you see it on the screen looks probably very different than it did in that uh, in my latest episode so um, you're getting a sneak peek uh, for the sake of helping somebody out on Revit, which I think is a, a good cause. Now, um, first things first, I'm going to do it the hard way, and then I'm going to do it the easy way. So the hard way would be I'm going to take my bulldozer and, um, you know, delete that off, and then I'm going to delete off a couple of these here. Get a, a, a good little area here. Um, ready to go and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my landscaping tools and my landscaping tools again because I have mods are going to look a little different but in principle you're going to be able to do the same thing you're still going to be able to do this you're just uh, yours is going to look a slightly differently than mine if you don't have uh, the extra landscaping tools mod which is what uh, this is all about so that being said we're going to lower I'm going to turn my brush strength way down low because I don't want it to be too high. I'm going to uh, turn my brush size up. And again, uh, yours is going to be different without the extra landscaping tools. And so just, just know that going into it. I'm going to get something that's a little bit more defined as well. So that looks about right to me. And so I'm going to just lower things down here um, manually. And then I'll probably at some point what I'll do is I'll take the level leveling tool, to turn my brush size down. Um, I'm going to pick a height and looking at um, the topography here, uh, I think that this height is probably good enough. Uh, it's a guesstimate, but I think that's probably good enough. So I'm going to move everything up 
to that height. Um, and again, uh, my, the way I'm doing this, I'm, I'm going to say it one last time and then I'll shut up about it, is going to look slightly differently than yours if you are not using mods, but in principle you can get to the same thing where you've got a lowered section of area. And you can also uh, take the time to use this uh, slope terrain here to get it to be a little bit more uh, even kill. And I don't like that, so uh, I'm just going to go back to here. But if you spend the time, you, you of course, you can uh, achieve whatever it is that you're looking to achieve with this. I'm going to do it rough and dirty because, quite frankly, I'm impatient. I'm just trying to show you uh, on a basic level what you can do conceptually, and then I'll let you get the details. Um, so then once you got that, uh, you're going to go to your or road, whatever, or your rail, whatever it is that you're trying to put underneath, and you're going to draw it out. Um, I'm just going to literally do that. That works. Okay. And so, obviously, that doesn't look great, so you're going to take more time to lay this out in a way that uh, looks exactly the way you want it to look than I just did. But again, for the sake of concept, you, you get the idea that I basically I've laid this road out below. Now what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go back to my landscaping tools and I'm going to level it back out with um, this tool here and bring it right back up all the way around. And so now it's basically it's a, a bit of a sunken highway. I could even do it in the center there if I have enough space. Um, if I wanted to, which normally you don't, so I'm going to undo that there, right? And you probably also wouldn't have your trees here, so I'll take those out just for the sake of realism. And there you go. You got your sunken highway there, and then you can just take this other road and um, whatever road it happens to be, I'm just going to pick this one for now for the sake of ease so it's going to be deleted and you're going to just draw it across now here what you're going to have a problem with is it's going to want to do these this doing this kind of funky thing so what you're going to want to make sure is you're going to page up page up page up until it's about even with where it's coming from and you're going to have to have enough space if you're going to put it over a divided highway like this to put the column in the middle, so you need to make sure that these two, um, that the highway is separated enough that you have enough room to do that. I have, you can see, I have from here all the way to over here. I can I can do that anywhere I want, and so I can just click right there, and then I'm going to go page down, page down, page down, page down, page down, page down, all the way back to over here, so it's back to ground level, and. Again, I have tools that make some of this look a little bit different, uh, like down here. But in concept, this was uh, that's that's part of the the base game, and you don't have to uh, do anything special to be able to do what I just did. It's a page up, page down has always been the way you you do that. Now, on the console, I don't I don't know what the buttons are, but obviously you have that same capability to raise and lower the ropes and. I, I imagine if you're watching this tutorial, you at least know how to do that already. And so there you go. You got uh, a nice little sunken highway there. Um, again, the transitions are kind of ugly because I just I didn't take the time to make that look pretty. Um, but uh, you know you can, and and I'm sure you will. And I can't wait to see what you do there. Now that's without mods. Now, uh, if you have the PC version, and uh, you're you're capable and willing to down uh, or subscribe to mods on the workshop here's how you do that so I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this all back up once again and don't worry I'm just gonna not save this game when I'm done with it I think that's how I'll do with getting it back to good so to speak um, and so right now I'm just undoing what I just did okay so this is not really actually part of it so uh, I'll see you in a second okay so, now this is 
basically, um, if you, to, to do what I'm about to show you, you're going to need a couple different mods. You're going to need the Fine Road Anarchy mod. You're going to need the Fine Road uh, tool. And you're going to need the Move It mod. And I also highly recommend you get the Traffic Manager President Edition uh, as well. And that's going to help immensely, particularly when you want to do uh, this kind of stuff here. So well, I want to make something that's similar to this over here. Uh, I'm not going to do on and off ramps because that just doesn't make sense for this section of the city. But, um, you know, obviously uh, on and off ramps, I'll, sh I'll actually do that for you. But I'm not going to keep that in my real city. So... Um, all you got to do, uh, real simple, once you have a, something already built, is you just click on the Move It mod here. And then you're going to have different places where you can uh, click and highlight that didn't, weren't there before. Even uh, on buildings and stuff like that, you can move trees around. If I wanted that tree to be over there, I can make it over there, whatever. Um, but here, you want to click on the nodes of the road. And what I like to do is I like to keep my, my nodes um, about... Uh, even with each other, and I want them to be um, pretty close to, so I don't like that at all. Um, so that's this m node coming this way here. And don't worry, it's looking a little bit ugly. We'll, we will make it to where it looks nice and pretty later. Um, but I got those two there, and then I'm going to want to put this, and I'm pressing shift to click on both of them at the same time, and I can move both of them. Um, at the same time and as many as you want now the more you click at once uh, the harder it's going to be on your computer so keep that in mind if you've got um, a computer that is going to struggle uh, with a lot of work you might uh, stick to only a couple at a time only one at a time don't don't want to overdo it for the sake of your computer um, and uh, sometimes I have uh, gotten a little overzealous even with my my beast of a computer and um, I've crashed the game. So uh, the one thing that this computer uh, doesn't have is enough RAM, I think, to really do something uh, like that. So that looks good there. Uh, this looks good here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, and then I'm going to shift. And uh, ho while holding down shift, I'm going to click on the other f three nodes. So I got, I got all four nodes here. And now, all I'm going to do is go page down, page down. Now, you notice it pages down a lot slower than in the real game. I can press and hold it down, and it does this. But it's essentially the same thing, right? But now I can, I can move the nodes to where I want them, and I can just page down, and uh, the, the game allows me to, uh, or the mods allow me to just bring it on down. Now, uh, when you're... How far down should I go? Well, you know, you want to account for a couple things. If I'm going to have my road go straight across, I'm going to have the height of this, the thickness of this road here, and then you want to allow for at least uh, a lorry to be able to go, or a box truck to be able to go underneath the freeway. And sometimes you give it a little bit of, <coughs> excuse me, you give it a little bit of extra just for the sake of realism. Um, of course, that that is up to you. And then course I can do the same thing here I'm going to click and then I'm going to shift and I'm going to click I'm going to bring that right on down um, until it's even now when I do this if you'll notice instead of uh, this road being like this road where it's attached to the ground or uh, to give you an idea like it is over here even though it's at ground level um, it's still considered a bridge as far as the game is concerned so that's where the extra um, row tools come in. So the extra row tool, um, I have these different modes that I can uh, use. So um, you've got just normal mode, um, you have the ground mode, you have the elevator mode, you have a bridge mode, um, and then you have a tunnel mode. And so when you have one of these clicked, it's going to force whatever it is to be the road as you're drawing it, but you can also use this um, upgrade row tool, and I can click on ground here and I click on that segment there and that segment there and now those two segments are attached to the ground now vice versa let's say I had done that here and I'm going to go control a that's my road anarchy um, mod and I'm going to click there and so it actually considers this attached to the ground as well now that's obviously it looks a little bit glitchy you're going to get 
some problems when it comes to uh, the terrain here. Um, and so you don't want that, but uh, the mod allows you to do some things that will break the game if you're not careful. So just want to think about that while you're, uh, don't go too crazy with it. But I can always go back to the elevated here and then click that back and no big deal. Now let's say you wanted a pillar right there for some reason. Um, uh, one of the ways you would do that is you would click, um, you would click and drag and then click right there and then click it all the way across like I did without mods and that would uh, make that happen. Um, I think another way and I, we'll see if I know what I'm talking about here. So I'm about 60% sure of what I'm about to say. I can click right here and drag. Um, We'll just do that, and then I can then bulldoze that connection, and now there is a segment that has this this one that used to be one big segment has been divided into two, and it's put a pillar at that segment point. So that's one way you can also uh, create a pillar where you want, assuming that it uh, isn't like uh, going over a road where it would normally um, omit the pillar. You also have a prop and tree anarchy mod, and um, that can also affect things uh, like pillars. So there you go. I I have it here now. The way I set it up, it looks nice and thing, uh, nice and even. But that's because I did good setup in the beginning. So you want to make sure that uh, you have plenty of length here for your segment. You see how long that segment is? Um, because if you bring your segments, I'm going to uh, shift and click to get both of those things. Now I'm going to just click and drag. If you do it too close, as you can see, um, you can really screw things up. The nice thing with uh, the movement mod, uh, you can control Z and it will undo. Um, I think there's also a way to do that down here. And honestly, I don't even know what it is because I just control Z. Uh, I think on Apple that would be command Z, obviously. Um, but there you go. So uh, you don't want to get it too close because you can, again, um, break the realism of the game and sometimes actually break the game uh, if you don't uh, use the tools responsibly and just do whatever you want. Now, let's say you have uh, a kink right here. You're like, man, this I want to make this road a lot straighter. Now, if you don't have the mods, you're just going to have to delete that and redraw it and be very careful in how you draw it. You're going to have to be just very intentional about your uh, drawing of the roads. but with the Move It mod, um, now you can just click on the node here, and then I'm going to press Alt and drag it, and you s notice how it, it made that a straight line segment and it lined the two up, and then I can drag it even more, and it's going to drag it into a curve that's in line with the other two. And so that way, you can make it to where it's nice and smooth and clean, which is also very helpful. Now. One last thing I'll show you, and then I'll shut up and let you get on with your life, is if you see this little circle here in the middle of the node, if I click and drag that, I can make that straight road a curve. Or let's say it was curved and I didn't want it to be, I can then click and drag it back, and I can also hold down Alt and it will um, snap to uh, being straight. But I also, without holding down Alt, it will uh, automatically slap to that little um, circle in the center there when I get close enough. And when I hold held Alt, it just snaps a lot easier than when I don't hold Alt. You see that? See the difference there? That's holding Alt, and that's not holding Alt. So you get a lot of control um, to do whatever it is you want to do to make the roads look however you want to look. And so that way you can have a nice, gorgeous intersection like this. Um, and uh, you can also have a nice, gorgeous intersection like this, which is, yeah, I, I, I give this a 6 out of 10. I don't call that a gorgeous intersection, but it's, it's not bad. Now, I said I was going to shut up and move on with life, but I actually have one more thing to show you. Um, and that is the Traffic Manager uh, President Edition. Now... I'm not going to go through everything in this mod right here. I'll probably make another video down the line that goes through that. But one thing I want to show you is the lane connector. And you notice that I have these little spaghetti lines uh, for my lanes. That's because I've already used this exact tool 
um, on these intersections. But let's say um, I wanted that one intersection that I had just showed you. Like, oh, not too far. Uh, this intersection here. Let's say I wanted this to actually be an on and off ramp. I didn't want it to just be an overpass. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go uh, and c uh, click on my highway ramp here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the node here. And let's say I didn't want that to be right there. Well, I got my handy dandy mods here. And I can just click and drag this. I'm going to hold Alt so it stays nice and straight. And I'm going to drag it out just a wee bit um, so that it goes where I want it to. Okay? Now I'm going to click on that. And even if you don't have the mods, this method is uh, a good strong method for drawing on and off ramps that look like what you want them to look like uh, without having the use of mods. But it's also a great way to do it um, with the mods as well. So I'm just going to go back to normal mode here. And I'm going to just click straight out on uh, parallel to the freeway here. And then I'm going to click on my freeform road. I'm going to uh, click... Uh, at a 180 degree snap and then I'm going to bring it in. Now uh, when I bring it in, I'm going to bring it in as far as I can go um, and I think that's actually too far so I'm going to bring it in to about right here. Now you see how it's blue right there? Because I have Anarchy turned on uh, it would allow me to do that but without the Anarchy uh, in a normal game it's going to turn red so let me turn that Anarchy off so you can see. So. Right about there, that's where I'm going to do it. And so it gives you a nice little on-ramp here. Now, to do the off-ramp, guess what I'm going to do? Instead of dragging from the freeway to the intersection, I'm going to do it the opposite. I'm going to drag from the intersection to the freeway. Because, um, I'm gonna, then I'm going to just, there's that dang, <laughs> that little silhouette there that's uh, bothering me. Um, so I'm going to bring it out to about right Ooh, there. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to go back to my upgrade road, and then I'm going to right click, and it's going to change the direction for me. And so now it's an on ramp. Okay. Um, now see, here it's created a little bridge there, um, and that's honestly uh, that's pretty annoying, right? And in a normal game, you'd have to delete that, and you'd have to finagle with it. Um, as you've done, but because I have mods, I can just click over here, and click, and bam, uh, that is done for me, okay? So, that's how I do on and off ramps. Now, um, if you don't have mods, that you're, you're done, and you move on with life, and uh, good luck to you. Uh, with mods, I'm going to go one step further, okay? So, I'm going to move this to be... Uh, straighter until that little arrow right there you notice how it's a turning arrow and now it's a straight arrow that makes all the difference in the world to your traffic because when it's a straight arrow your traffic are going to treat it as if it's going straight and it's just a bit of a curvy road where when it has that it's going to treat it as an intersection where they have to make a right turn and so they will slow down quite a bit more so you don't want that but when I do that it makes this awkward little kink and it's not nice and smooth like this anymore. So one of the things you can do is um, you can pull the the arc of the curve back from the center point here um, and that will help a little bit and then you can also curve this one uh, and you can also move the intersection here as you see fit to make it work and you can also hold down alt and that can sometimes help sometimes that doesn't help. Um, and so it depends on the geometry of your uh, road as to what is best to do. I can't tell you what's best to do in all situations because it, it really does depend on the situation. But just a normal situation like this where you have a slight diagonal um, coming off of this road and you're going like that. Um, I usually I l just literally pull that arc point back, that, that hyperbolic arc point I guess you could call it or the vanishing point and I bring it closer to where I want it to be smooth. And so, um, bring it just a little bit more until it, it, right about there. So that's where I need it to be 
going straight. Now, what I will do is I'm going to click on my Traffic Manager President Edition. I'm going to click on my Lane Connector, and I'm going to click on the node that uh, is. You notice that they have circles at each of the nodes of the roads, and I want the node that denotes this intersection here. So they have these little itty bitty circles, and they're all color coded. So I'm going to click on the first one, and you notice those other ones went away, but new ones popped up. So these are uh, where you enter into the intersection, and these are where you exit the intersection. So these are the, your possible inter entrances, and these are your possible exits. So I click from here, and then uh, to, to so I'm going to click, uh, and then I'm going to click again to go where I want it to go. Now let's say I had gotten overzealous and I accidentally clicked over there and it turns out I don't want that. All I have to do again is click again. Uh, that's a left click to be clear and it goes away. And then I can right click to un to unattach so I can go back and click on a different circle. So I'm going to left click, left click, right click, left click, left click, right click, left click, Left click, left click, oh wait, I didn't want to do that, so I'm going to left click again, and then I'll right click, it goes away. And so that's how I want my lanes to go. So, there you go. Uh, now, when people enter onto this freeway, they're going to do so uh, just onto this lane, and so they're not going to go across three lanes of traffic, Beverly Hillbilly style, and uh, piss everybody off and learn the new way to say hello. Um, so anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, it was pretty in-depth, so it might be more in-depth than you needed, but uh, for some people out there, I'm sure it was just right. Um, let me know what you think about this. Look at my other videos. I have a whole Let's Play series uh, in this city, and um, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later.